What if you closed your eyes for a single night and woke up in a world centuries older? Your clothes the same, your body unchanged, but outside, empires have fallen. Languages have shifted and your very money is ancient. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this is both science and scripture. Einstein's theory of relativity shattered our old idea of time. Time isn't fixed, it bends and stretches. Travel near the speed of light and your one day could be someone else's centuries. Near a black hole, gravity itself slows your clock compared to the outside universe. Now let's make it concrete. Suppose you felt only one day, while the world outside moved 300 years. That's a mismatch of about 1 in 100,000. To get that factor by velocity or special relativistic time dilation requires motion with Lorentz factor g, 1.0957 times 10 raised power, 5. Extremely, extremely close to light speed. Physics tells us you need speeds of 99.9999996% the speed of light to achieve that kind of time dilation or an unimaginably intense gravitational field. Extreme, yes, but relativity doesn't forbid it. So when we hear of people awakening after a day or part of a day, only to discover centuries had passed, it sounds almost like a page from Einstein's equations. This is exactly what the Quran narrates in the story of the companions of the cave. In Surah Al-Kaf, a group of young believers sought refuge from oppression and were put into a miraculous sleep by God. When they awoke, they debated how long they'd been there, a day or part of a day. Yet outside, hundreds of years had rolled by. Their very presence became a living sign of divine power. Classical Tafsir read this not as physics, but as miracle. God suspended ordinary time. The purpose was not to teach mechanics of space-time, but to show his care for believers and to remind humanity of resurrection, how he can preserve life beyond normal limits. So yes, the modern mind may see a striking parallel with time dilation, even time travel. But the Quran presents it as a sign, not a science experiment. Any overlap with relativity is a fascinating echo. But ultimately, the story points beyond physics to God's mastery over time itself. And maybe that's the real lesson. Science shows us time can bend. Faith reminds us that time is a creation, fully under God's command. Whether through miracle or through mathematics, centuries can pass like a blink, because time is never our master. Please remember to subscribe to support the channel.